Hello, my name is Joanne Peary, and I'm Grower Services for Premier Tech Horticulture. Today we're going to talk about the influence of fertilizer on your potting medium. All of the potting mediums from Premier Tech Horticulture, our ProMix, have a mild nutrient charge incorporated into the mixes. As a grower, it is recommended that you start to fertilize it within seven days of starting to use the mix, although most growers will tend to start to fertilize starting day one. But to determine what type of fertilizer you can use can sometimes be a little challenging. The two factors that you need to consider when, when choosing your fertilizer is your water quality, number one. The alkalinity of your water is the measurement of the limestone dissolved in your water, which dictates the buffering capacity of your water when it comes to pH shift in your soil. The ideal growing conditions uh, should have a alkalinity of between 80 and 180 parts per million calcium carbonate. This is the dissolved lime in your water. If your alkalinity is substantially higher than that 180 parts per million, it is often necessary to use either acid injection to lower the pH or to use a acid forming fertilizer that will also help to lower the pH. On the other extreme of that is if you've got very low alkalinity. With very low alkalinity in your water, you have very little buffering capacity in that water and therefore the soil pH will fluctuate tremendously based on the type of fertilizer you use. An acid forming fertilizer will cause that soil pH to drop while a basic fertilizer would cause the, fertilizer, the soil pH to raise. So you need to monitor your soil pH on a very regular basis. The other determining factor when it comes to what fertilizer to use, it's the crops you're growing. If you're growing primarily the petunia groups, so your petunias, your calbacoas, your, your bacopas, they tend to have an impact on the soil causing your soil pH to raise. Therefore, you need to use an acid forming fertilizer to keep that pH in within your ideal range. The other extreme is going over towards the geranium groups. The geranium group includes both the geraniums, New Guinea patients, marigolds, and it has a tendency to cause the soil pH to drop. And therefore, if you want to keep your soil pH in the optimum range of approximately 5.8, you need to use a, a basic forming fertilizer. Here we're using an example of a bag of fertilizer. We're using the Jax uh, Professional Fertilizer, but this could be any water soluble fertilizer on the market. When looking at the guaranteed analysis, you can find the t potential acidity or basicity in the box. And then if you look at the nitrogen level, you've got 8% uh, uh, anamiacal and approximately 12% nitrate nitrogen. Those combinations are what are determining the acidity or basicity of the fertilizer. With the fertilizers, the other thing you might want to be aware of is that uh, those fertilizers that are more acidic tend to have a higher concentration of chelated, chelated iron to help keep the pH as low as possible for the petunia groups. Now with all greenhouse operations and no matter what kind of crops you're growing or what kind of fertilizer you're using, you do need to be checking your, your injectors, the EC on those and the pH of your soil on a re regular basis. Either doing it with your own handheld materials or going through a service such as those offered by Premier Tech Horticulture. For more information about ProMix products, visit our website and follow us on social media.